Hi everyone, this is Carmela of the Senora Kitchen. I thought I would give you another health update. Uh, it's been about 10 days or so. Just to tell you very quickly, uh, back in November, December, uh, I did a couple of liver gallbladder uh, cleanses and shortly after that I started to have some major health issues. Um, basically, you know, having uh, gallstones that have traveled, you know, further down in the uh, uh, in the ducts, you know, of my gallbladder. That's why I had to do another flush, um, and then that has continued to happen even after the second flush. So I, you know, still have gallstones. Uh, but the other bigger issues have been in terms of my GI tract. So it's been acting up ever since. Um, the main thing is an inflammation that I've been having in my colon and I think now in my intestines as well. Uh, so inflammation, um, I, I had uh, blood in my stools, so intestinal bleeding, which of course is, you know, pretty serious. So, so yeah, I just did, you know, lots of research and then found out that it looks like, you know, I have the symptoms of um, inflammatory bowel disease. And, uh, and uh, so about six weeks ago, I started to do some elemental shakes uh, following the protocol of Jeannie Patel Thompson, who uh, has designed something. She's cured herself of, of uh, uh, Crohn's disease and uh, colitis uh, uh, naturally. So I'm now following her protocol. And uh, so, you know, it's been yeah, about almost six weeks, I think. And last week, or a few, maybe 10 days ago, right when I talked to you last, I was uh, just starting to introduce some food. Uh, I thought, okay, well, you know, I was inspired to give that a try. Uh, of course, you know, very, very gentle. I'll, whenever I get off this, I'll have to, you know, just work my way back because my system, my digestive system is not working at all right now. And that's the whole idea, you know, giving my guts um, a total rest for a while so that it can heal. So I did some butternut squash, uh, blended up, um, and uh, also some carrots. And amazingly, that went through really, you know, without any problem. You know, no trouble digesting, no pain, no nothing, except um, almost immediately I noticed uh, that it triggered intestinal bleeding again. So. The thing is, it's not uncommon when you do this diet, you know, if you break it too quickly, uh, that, that you do have uh, intestinal bleeding if you're not quite ready. So, and I thought, you know, after four weeks, you know, I would have been pretty surprised that, that my uh, body was ready to, to have food again and, and uh, just, you know, move on to the next uh, stage. But so uh, apparently it's not, so I have to, had to backtrack and uh, go back to just having the elemental shakes uh, with uh, juices and, uh, and also some veggie broths uh, as well. So, so that's what I've been doing and pretty much um, since we'll be, I was hoping we could stay here a little longer so that I could, you know, just chill out and, and you know, get as well as I can because it's, you know, chances are well, it will, you know, I still see it as being, you know, stressful, you know, going back to Canada, it will be, I figure it will be about two weeks on the road, um, taking it easy. But, you know, if, at the very least, it's going to be energy demanding. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I was hoping to be able to stay here longer, but that's not going to work out, unfortunately, for some technical reasons. So, uh, we'll be leaving on just the Monday after Easter and uh, starting the trek back so so yeah so I think I mean I'm just gonna continue with the shakes until you know we get back you know to to BC really because you know there's no point in um, adding stress you know the moment that I'm gonna have you know, uh, some food uh, it's gonna add some stress you know in terms of how my body needs to work so I'm just gonna you know wait it out until till I'm settled again and so far, I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing good. My energy is much, much better. Um, I'm still not putting um, any weight. You know, I'm, I've, 
I gained 10 pounds and then I'm kind of stuck there at 95 so so I guess you know uh, not much I can do about that the key is that I don't lose any um, and otherwise yeah my energy is uh, pretty good almost no abdom abdominal pain I, I took out all the supplements that I was uh, feeling uh, that weren't agreeing with me so now I'm sticking I'm being very careful and just sticking to what I know works uh, so the pain has been minimal still you know I still feel you know some tightness and and uh, I'm starting to you know feel on and off something in the intestines which is something I didn't have before so well you know not much I can do about that uh, so you know just write it out um, one thing I did start to do is uh, wheatgrass juices. So you can see I got my my little grass growing here. So it's really easy and and fun. And you know, it, it, I love to have that color in here in the in the uh, house. <laughs> so doing the wheatgrass, uh, and I didn't have a you know really good wheatgrass juicer. All I well we have a Breville juicer, and that's not any good for any for greens and that kind of thing. So I was doing it in the Vitamix and then straining it, but of course that's not ideal, you know, with with all the oxidation. So what I just um, received this week is uh, this little juicer here, which is a manual juicer, and it's it's the Lexan uh, Healthy Juicer. And what it is, it's a manual wheatgrass juicer, and uh, it costs about fifty bucks, so it's really cheap. Uh, I got it from the Raw Food World, and yeah, basically it does a really good job for wheatgrass, but also any other greens. And I uh, and I've read reviews like on Amazon, you know, for the, for the same juicer, and people even use it for any kinds of of vegetables. You just have to cut things pretty uh, small. So I tried to do other juices in it, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of work. Eh? So I think I'm just gonna stick to the wheatgrass for now. And. Uh, and so I'm sure that's you know that's helping too, giving me a you know a little boost of nutrition. So yeah, so I think nutrition-wise, I'm you know I'm much stronger than I was uh, just a few weeks ago. And uh, so you know I'd like to think I'm still on a you know getting better and on a uptrend. Of course, you know there's some concerns you know what what's going on with you know these other. Uh, areas of my belly that now have the the pain and inflammation so I don't know I guess once we get back to Canada then I can have some tests done and, and get a better sense of what's happening so yeah somehow it's happening for a reason so again it's you know to remind myself to that it's you know it's not just a, a physical thing I think it's multi-dimensional you know ultimately it's to do with you know my emotions and this, my stress levels and and uh, and just you know some energy blocks that that haven't been addressed so so I guess that's pretty much all the news um, so I would think that might be the last video I do uh, while we're here in Arizona sadly I wouldn't you know what I'd like to do it outside the weather has been gorgeous but it's just really windy and and uh, I know you know for the sound it's not so good you know when recording so so yeah the weather is great here so sucking up the sunshine as much as I can before I make my way back to the to the great up uh, the great north you know and um, yeah still have my cell on so I have my uh, how, how do I call it again uh, loving myself to health uh, recipe book sale so if you guys have been uh, looking to buy some of my books or, or are just interested well this you know might be a good time since they're on sale and at the same time it really helps us out to put some money in our pockets to pay for all the expenses that have been uh, coming up you know with this whole health saga so so I guess that's about it um, I hope this spring is really starting to show it uh, wherever you are uh, Easter is coming soon, and usually that's always a really good uh, symbolic time for me. I've had major shifts happen then, you know, the renewal, the whole thing about starting fresh. Um, 
So it will be interesting to see what happened this year because, you know, we'll be leaving just afterwards. So anyway, somehow it's all part of this, part of the ever-changing, um, just a cycle, you know, of, of, of birth and, and new beginnings and, and, uh, once I'm at, on the other side of this, well, it will be interesting. I have no idea what's waiting for me, you know, how it will change my diet and, and, uh, well, certainly it will give me a greater appreciation of food. <laughs> I can tell you that much <laughs> after, you know, six, six weeks of, of drinking only, uh, shakes, you know, and juices, yeah, I'll be appreciating munching on something solid. <laughs> so, I guess that's all, and, um, I'm, you know, I, th I think about you guys, and, and, yeah, I'll be giving you some news as soon as I can. I don't know, probably from the road will be difficult, but, uh, as soon as I get the chance, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you and do another video. So, until then, I hope you do great, and uh, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.